this time. Yeah, guess it's what? Crazy. We're guess. playing what the fox is called. I forgot already. Have you actually? <laughs> yeah. It's what called is it? Tomo it's called Tomorrow Never Dies, and we're playing. Okay. That. Cool. It's the really shit one. You know the one we played before that was James Bond. Did yeah. We play James Bond before? No, we played Perfect Dark, and we talked about James Bond the entire time. It's basically That's thinking that James right. Bond. We talked about James Bond uh, GT James Kart Racing. <laughs> I want I want someone to make that like someone needs to get me a three D model of like a bobblehead Judy Dench Jesus. in a, in a car. This looks awful. Yeah. This sorry. looks like well, it looks like Goldeneye, but slightly better. Goldeneye uh, looks better than this. Yeah. Ugh, I have my eyes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yes. Feel free to flick through this manual. Okay, I'm, I'm looking through the manual live oh, yeah. on the show. By the way, this is like it boasts the fact that you can do skiing in this one, so that's exciting. Ooh. What? Mike, choose your difficulty, Agent or 007? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna go with Agent, I guess. I guess. Oh, interesting. Okay. This basically seems like it's ripping off Golden Knight, even though it's the same thing. Yeah. Classified. Oh, shit. We're gonna get a I'm video briefing. For, there's gotta be some hot gossip in this book somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. Let's so, go. It's loading. I always think like the Pierce Brosnan era of Bond was like my least favorite because like that was the the time when the series got really stupid. Yeah, you know? it kind of simultaneously tried to be more serious and more ridiculous. It just got so fucking goofy. Like it didn't have a car it, that turned invisible. Right, you had a shit. fucking car that turned invisible. It's like what the fuck? And there's like one film. It might have been this one or Die Another Day or something where like. He fucking jumps off a cliff and then like falls faster than a falling plane and jumps onto it or something. You're like, that's basic physics, James. Yeah. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting confused. Uh. Right. Oh, jeez, Louise. Jeezy Crease. Okay, I did it. Let's go. So what I know at the moment is X is shoot. Oh, I. Oh, I can. Oh, I remember what I wanted to talk about. So when you start the game up, there's a little scratch, scratch, splash screen. Yeah. It says Tommy Tadarico Studios. Oh yeah. Yeah, I met that guy. Really? He's the guy. He does. He did the music for Earthworm Jim. Oh. And stuff. So he was at um he was at Video Games Live. I mean, he organizes Video Games Live. That's really? His, yeah, yeah. That's his event. I love. It's tank. him and the guy who does the music for Mass Effect. Is it Jack Wall? I don't know. I, I'm you, probably wrong about that. Just edit in what it's called here. There you go. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, but um, Tommy Tanarico is like, he's related to Steven Tyler from Aerosmith or something. Really? Yeah. Does he have a melty face as well? No, he's a pretty normal looking guy. Oh, Steve, have you seen what Steve Tyler face looks? Steve Tyler's face looks like these days? Steve, it's a bit scary. Yeah, he's like a, a sock puppet went wrong. Yeah, look, his picture. <laughs> <laughs> Me, in the future, who has to edit this. Yeah, have fun, Corey. Oh yeah, I can, I can, I can make demands for pictures now. Oh, now the boots no. on the other foot. Oh yeah, because I'm probably editing this one. Yeah. I might just conveniently run out of time, so Mike has to do it. Uh, Here's yeah. a Photoshop picture of Pierce Brosnan with boots. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I got an assault rifle. How do I change weapons? It's select. Yeah, but yeah, Tommy seemed cool. He was like, I, he, I got an Earthworm Jim soundtrack CD, and he like signed it. He, he drew a little speech balloon next to the picture of Earthworm Jim and wrote Groovy in it, which I appreciate. Cool. Oh. Nice. Oh, my TV's trying to sabotage the show again. Good. That's cool. Sorry. Nobody can see that at home, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, my TV threatens to turn itself off. You could have just not mentioned it and it would have been fine. Yeah, my but then looking for the remote control like takes all of my brain cycles. Dead. So what am I... It's either that or radio Oh, silence. I respawned. Right. Cool. <laughs> that guy was like shooting you point blank in the face. Ow. See, I, I get swear shot, that but I can't tell apart from the vibration that I'm being shot. That bullet hole that appears in the wall is the same as Goldeneye. I'm just yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like basically the same. Well, they probably use like the same engine. You know, like fucking James Bond or whatever. Man. Nice. But they didn't understand how to make it not garbage. Are you enjoying your license to kill? Uh, no. Was that a yes? That yeah. sounded like a yes. That sounded like a yes burp. Yeah, murder. Just one, one burp for yes, two for murder. Uh, uh. That guy took a lot of hits to the crotch. I got nine rifle rounds. It's all good. Let's go. He controls like a tank, which is really not helpful. Like, does he actually have tank controls, or is he just? We got a sword. It's it, like someone's clearly mapped the D-pad to the analog stick as well. If you know what I mean. Oh right, so he's not. Yeah, yeah. So there's no like sensitivity to it. Yeah. Actually. 
I think that was invented when the PS2 came out. Yeah. Because because that's the thing with the PS1, like the analog stick wasn't necessarily like on all games. Like some games are like analog stick compatible, or some of them like analog stick required. So most games. You could you could move either the directional pad or the analog stick. Like Croc, for example, came out before analog sticks did, so it controls really oh, well. Yeah. That has like proper tank controls, which you know kind of makes it not a very good game. It, it's one of those games that would be pretty good if the controls weren't horrible. Didn't Tomb Raider have tank controls? So I oh, vaguely the controls that for being Tomb Raider like, are really weird. I didn't get it. Like she stands still and then she jumps by like shoving her hands up in the air if you play it on the PlayStation anyway. I remember I had like Tomb Raider on the PC and like yeah. just trying to get her to jump onto it, like to reach up and grab a ledge. It's like trying to like you're playing on a keyboard, trying to line her up at the perfect angle where she will actually grab the fucking wall. Yeah, yeah. it's infuriating. That, yeah. that put me off PC gaming for a long time. Yeah, that's the thing. Like PC gaming was kind of shit until stuff like Half Life Two came out. Really? Yeah. Like that's when it started actually trying to compete with yeah. console gaming I guess so I feel like I missed a lot of stuff like like some games like, I, I got put off playing action games at least like stuff like Age of Empires and oh, stuff like yeah. that I got way into like, yeah I used because to play you can't not stuff. play those on the keyboard right and like shit like SimCity and that I was, yeah. I was into I was all over that stuff I used to play so much Dungeon Keeper oh. that game was cool yeah, I, I still have never played Dungeon Keeper we'll have to do it on the show sometime so you can, you can sure. show what it's all about that could be interesting uh, I'm getting bugged up we are totally not talking about James Bond right now, are we? Well, we talked about James Bond when we played Perfect Dark. So, <laughs> you know, have you got any Perfect Dark trivia? Well, <laughs> that makes sense, I guess. I was going to ask you, like, did we talk about this? Like, who's your favourite Bond? I don't think we... Uh, James Bond. Jenny Bond. Yeah. I was going to go with Basil Bond. Yeah. Bearers Bond. Uni Bond. Yeah. This, this is not funny. Um, my favourite... Actor who has played James Bond. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of shit because I haven't watched too many James Bond films. I kind of found them a bit boring. I mean, a lot of them are the same. Yeah. Who was that guy who wore a kilt and like got touched up by a bunch of birds? Uh, Which one was that? Was that Timothy Dalton? I might have been, but like he was wearing a kilt, but he was like the most stereotypically. I can speak the most stereotypically English sounding. It's like, hello, ladies. Oh, I'm wearing a kilt. And they're like, he's wearing a kilt. Maybe he's not wearing any pants. So he just gets touched up by loads of women while they're sitting at a table. And then, like, they're getting they're at a health spa or something. But it's actually subliminal messages. Yeah. Okay. But it's fine. It's not. But he's it's not my favourite. It's not molesting because he's a man. So it's cool. Yeah. At least that's what they say on Tumblr, right? Men can't get raped. Sure. I don't I don't know. I don't hang out on Tumblr. Anyway, um I don't know. I would say Pierce Brosnan. Not this Pierce no, not Pierce Brosnan. That's his Pierce Brosnan. Look yeah, at you Look, are Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, I mean this is Pierce Brosnan. Look at him. He's really I mean, chunky. They do say you should love yourself. But... Who's the other one? Sean Connery. He's okay. Yeah, so you got Sean Connery, you got Roger Moore, yeah. Timothy Dalton. Who the fuck is the other one? There's Mr. New Guy. I mean, Daniel Craig. There's another yeah. one, though. I always forget the other one. I guess Sean Connery. That's I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get handy with the Google. Can't do it. I'm gonna get my Google on. I think it's playing James Bond music in the background. I can't really tell. Yeah. Bring, 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 I, I know Golden A well. The you movie know the, or the game? You know, no, the, the game. The movie's actually pretty good. I kind of like it. I've seen it a couple of times. It's I always got, find it really got weird. It's Bean in it. And Robbie Coltrane playing a Russian for some fucking reason. Oh, yeah! Wait, who's that? He's, he's Hagrid from Harry Potter. Oh, really? And they had, what's his face? George Lazenby. That's who I was. Oh, no, George people. Lazenby was the guy who got touched up. Was that it? Yeah. Uh, Timothy Dalton only did like one film, didn't he? He was a couple, I think. Oh. He was like the. Yeah, I think he was the guy before Pierce Brosnan. If I'm not like completely oh, wrong. I think you probably. That sounds about right. Can't like no. Um. What was I talking about? What was I talking I about? I forget. James Bond. Completely is... forgot. Oh damn it! No. Yeah. You know Goldeneye. Yes. The someone remade Goldeneye in Source, and it's called Goldeneye Source, and it's okay. People have remade Goldeneye a lot, actually. Yeah, Golden Knight's also played, and it's it's alright. 
Let's this again. That's one of those things where people get in Unity and they're like, I don't know what to make. Let's remake Goldeneye. Yeah. I don't know why. Whoa. Laser D. Like, uh, one of my Facebook friends was working on that for a time as well. Really? Yeah, I think he said he got as far as, like, he got to the point, like, he recreated one of the Goldeneye levels and he got to the point where he had to, like, make guards and animate them and shit and he was like this is too hard <laughs> he yeah. didn't know how to do it but no GoldenEye source was okay no who was Boris in GoldenEye oh that was um the, he was the same guy who was Nightcrawler in the X-Men really yeah Alan, oh god Alan, Alan Cummings yeah. that was it he was also Floop in Spy Kids <laughs> <laughs> fun fact <laughs> that's uh, what that's, I remember seeing him say oh shit it's Floop <laughs> Good. When I was a stupid child, I liked Spy Kids, okay? I still have never watched Spy Kids. Yeah. I've watched clips from Spy Kids and I'm like, oh my fucking god, I'm never watching this. You, I have, I have like, the um, Spy Kids 3, the 3D one, and I have like no. special Spy Kids 3D no. goggles. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Master. Oh, I don't know what that means. I'm guessing oh, it's this dish. Blam, 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 blam. Maybe it's you. You're a bit of a dish. Just... Well, I tell you what, folks. Whoa! Holy carp! <gasps> <laughs> okay, maybe that was that's, what I was supposed to do. That's a pretty good note to end the episode. I think. What say you? And on that literal bombshell. <laughs> what say you, good sir? I say that was a plane. I say peace, bitches. We out. Yeah. Whole lot, but we didn't. Boys, we did bombs. Okay, tune in next time for more video game shenanigans. Bye, Bond. I know I say this every time. I do love you. Double O bye. Double O subscribe. See, now if you say subscribe, but you replace the O with two zeros. Subscribe. <laughs> so do you think every time we sign off an episode, should we add an O? <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> oh, when we play a game with Scooby Doo, we've got to say Subscrooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> we should have ended this episode like a minute ago. Let's go. Oh, I got a key card? Access card. Can't cool. stop talking, the episode's over. Oh, yeah. Bye!